Hi divers and maybe future divers, today we're talking about something super important for anyone thinking about diving into scuba diving. We're going to look at why I think the GE Recreational Dive All Level 1 course is a game changer, even if you're into diving just for fun and have no plans to go into technical diving whatsoever. Let's get into it. I know most of you already know something about GOE, but since this video is as well for the ones of you who are not a diver yet, let me give you a short overview what GOE actually is. And the ones already divers, please let me know in the comments which association certified you. So, GOE stands for Global Underwater Explorers. GOE isn't just another diving organization. GOE focuses on education, conservation and exploration in diving. With its roots in exploration cave diving like the Woodwell Karst Plane project over 25 years ago, now it's been GOE's 25th birthday, GOE has been a leader in developing safe standardized diving practice. GOE's approach emphasizes a rigorous style of training, objective performance criteria and a team-oriented diving philosophy. They've developed a unique approach to diving training and diving itself. In the past, this was often referred to as doing it right or DIR and maybe you find uh, this, this term on the internet. However, due to some misconceptions about what this really meant, I've moved away from using this term in recent years. For many years, G was mostly known for big dives, exploration projects, extreme cave and technical diving and still is today. But over the years, GOE developed even a recreational program and in this and the next videos I'm going to explain a bit more about that, especially the uh, Recreational Diver Level 1 or Rec 1 class. But before that, consider subscribing to the channel if you haven't already. It really helps me a lot creating more content like this. The GOE Reg 1 course is the epitome of GOE's philosophy. It's more than just learning to dive, it's about diving smart. Now, what is the GOE Recreational Diver Level 1 course? It is a deep dive into diving. We're talking about 5 days minimum with 14 dives and over 40 hours of learning in the classroom on land and underwater. This isn't just a quick dip, it's a full-on dive into diving. In this course, you'll cover everything from the basics of scuba diving to gas management and dive planning. There are land rules for gear handling and dive prep and in-water skills like navigation and buoyancy control. It's all about making you a safe, confident diver. And that's basically the core of DIR, doing it right, philosophy. For me, it always meant you either do it right or you don't do it at all, meaning I teach you everything you need to know to be a confident and safe diver or I don't teach you at all. And this is something you can recognize in the GOE course curriculum. Compared to other water diver courses, the GOE Reg 1 course packs in a lot more. Where some courses might wrap up in just a few days, GOE gives you a solid in-depth foundation. It's like the difference between a quick tutorial and a masterclass. In the GOE course program you will find only a few courses with a lot of content instead of a whole lot of tiny specialty courses to catch up with the things you might have missed in the main class, like buoyancy control for instance. Another important part of all GE courses is equipment. In GE courses you will notice a big emphasis on standardized equipment. This means everyone uses similar gear configurations. Why is this cool? Well, it makes things simpler and safer. You learn to handle a streamlined setup which is great for reducing drag and improving efficiency underwater. Plus, when everyone's gear is similar, it's easier for you to dive team to assist each other if needed. You'll typically use a backplate and wing style BCD, a long hose regulator setup for gas sharing and very often a dry suit. This setup not only enhances safety but also builds a sense of team unity in your dive group. 
and quite frankly, everywhere. People work in highly efficient teams, from aviation to nuclear power plants, standardization is the key to efficiency and safety. What I love about Dewey's teaching style, and that's the reason I'm teaching it, is how the course fits your life. You can go full on with like six consecutive days or break it up into smaller chunks. But the most important thing for me is that with a max of three students, you get a lot of personal attention from your instructor, which can be really rare in other courses. I taught many courses for other agencies and very often the student to instructor ratio was like one to four, one to five, one to six, or even worse. The reason for this is from my point of view, the pricing of the courses. For a GOE Reg 1 course, you need to count at least, uh, let's say, a thousand bucks in course fees. At first glance, it seems a lot pricier than other agencies' classes, which often can be as low as $400 or sometimes even cheaper. However, the costs for the instructor and dive center remain the same, so to cover the fixed costs, you would have to have more paying students on the class. And in my opinion, this is not in your best interest as a student because, quite frankly, do you really think an instructor can control and teach more than three persons who have never been diving before simultaneously without lowering the quality of the instruction while still making it safe? Let me tell you this from my experience of countless courses for different agencies over the last two decades, it is impossible. And if you look closely at the pricing, as I said, the GOE Reg 1 has much more content in it. By completing the GOE Reg 1, you will already learn how to manage a dry suit and you'll be certified nitrox diver. With other agencies, you would need some other specialty courses you need to pay on top. So the investment in time and money will be most likely the same. Though GOE might look pricier up front, the value you get is huge. Whether you're into casual diving or thinking of going further, the GOE Recreational Diver Level 1 course is a fantastic point to start your diving career. There are several options to get from the Rec 1 to other courses like GOE Cave or TAC classes, and deepen your knowledge about diving and expand your limits. But even if you never thought about these rather committed forms of diving and you're just into like fish watching and easy recreational diving, in my opinion, as a non-diver, you'll be better off with the Rec 1 class than with any other class you can find. Because the level of comfort and safety you will achieve during that class will be of no comparison whatsoever. If you'd like to see if the Reg 1 course fits your personal needs, don't hesitate to reach out to a local GUI instructor or even me here on the platform and ask for a Discover Diving. The Discover Diving is a tryout day where you really can see how the training is done and if the style of training and your instructor really is something for you. Have you got any more questions about GOE diving or the GOE Recreational Diver 1 class in particular? Uh, please just drop me a comment and I'm very happy to uh, create more and more videos answering your questions or just write me an email or watch my other videos which are also a very valuable resource of information.